Hello guys, how are you today? I hope you're doing well and this reading finds you in a good way. This is Empathic Moon 777 and I am your tarot card reader, Durga Diana. I want to welcome you to this collective love reading. It could be open to any type of like, it could be 3D relationships, um, divine uh, relationships, divine connections, soulmates or twin flames. Um, so this could be about love or this could be about your relationships with your person, right? So uh, it's general, so only take what resonates, simply leave what does not, and follow your intuition. And this is the Daily Tarot Messages from Loving Spirit series. I was not available on Friday. I am working on a project. I'm trying to finish another project that I'm working on. So I am very was very busy with that. Um, things are going along, moving along really well the eclipse oh my god that was the best eclipse ever like energetically i feel like wow a lot of great things i hope you're feeling good too um i'm feeling really good um and let's get started on the reading guys Woo! let's get going all right i'm in a good mood today guys uh we have here and guess what who comes in we have the masculine here divine masculine unfinished symphony and the emperor unfinished symphony eh so there's something going on with this masculine where he feels like there is something unfinished, all right? He's like he's like going within himself and he's like, "Oh my god." Like it's it's almost like getting to him. This unfinished symphony, that's what I'm getting here from this vibe here. There's something here that is itching him, all right? There's something itching this masculine. The emperor is the divine masculine energy, right? This is what the situation of the reading is about. And it's connected to an interview, having a conversation, talking and getting on the same page. So I feel like this masculine wants to talk. All right. He feels like there's something unfinished and it's itching him. And it's having to do with the two of cups in reversed. This energy of um, self, uh, what do you call it? Disharmony. This energy may be related to distrust. Maybe um, you, um, maybe there was some kind of energy of distrust where, you know, maybe he broke his trust or maybe you feel like he was being uh, not truthful or maybe there was har disharmony, right? And those things were not uh, looked after. They It was unfinished. So this masculine here is really, you know, having, uh, going through it today. He he feels like there's something uh, unfinished that he needs to talk about. And uh, let's just get a message here about what this masculine wants to say in this reading. What does he want to say to the viewer right now? What does he want to say, this masculine? Let's just... What does he want to say? Okay, nope, that's too many. Just one. What does the masculine want to say here? What does he want to say? Too many. Okay. Okay, this is what he want to say. Oh my God. <laughs> so he says crazy. You drive me wild. So I guess there's, yeah, there's something definitely itching in him. He really, he cares about you, right? Uh, you drive him crazy. And uh, he something's itching within this masculine where he wants to have a talk, right? He's itching to have a talk with you regarding this um, two of cups in reverse, which is kind of like, you know, it's... Uh, I feel like he wants to get back to this, like to that harmony, right? But uh, he really wants to have a talk regarding the, um, it could have been a breakup, it could have been a, a, some kind of disharmony or trust, right? So that's the situation coming through. What's the overall message of the reading? So we have here, be true to your heart. So um, the overall message of the reading is to be true to the heart. So that could be yourself. Or this could be the message regarding your masculine. Uh, or uh, this could be a message just to overall message of the reading is to follow the heart. 
regarding any kind of like um, dissatisfaction, okay? So, um, <clears throat> or this could be about following your heart with your inner happiness, like what makes you feel happy, all right? And um, so it's it's about following her your heart and um, it's about being flexible, okay? Uh, be flexible with changes, all right? If there's a resistance to change, um, you know, be flexible with that. If there is if there is any kind of unfinished business, things are not working or, you know, things are not sorted out, right? Mm -hmm. They say to be flexible with this energy and to follow your heart, utilize your heart center um, when it comes to any kind of resistance, all right, that you may have whether it's personal or with it's with your person there or with it, uh, this masculine here or um, if it has to do with something that's not finished, all right? So um, utilize the heart center and, um, and uh, follow your heart when it comes to that inner happiness. Follow your heart into, um, put your heart into that dissatisfaction. Utilize the heart center and be flexible is the overall message of the reading. So we'll get into the situation here. We have uh, serendipity. Okay, and it's clarified by the uh, chariot in reverse. So that is some kind of block, right? Um, there's definitely a situation here where there may be somebody feeling like there's a block towards their serendipity. Um, there may be some kind of... Um, a lack of direction as well with the serendipity serendipity you see here there's that four leaf clover we have fairy that's high vibrational energy um they are connected to the 5d um they're actually can go between uh 3d and 5d so uh serendipity is all about this energy high vibrational energy it's all about luck when you're in that high vibration like miracles happen right so there is some kind of energy where there's some kind of block there with that serendipitous energy. Uh, it's related to unreconcilable differences and the four of wands in reverse clarified that. So there is definitely some kind of some kind of breakup or some kind of irreconcilable difference, some kind of final divorce um, that's taking place. So there's something major happening with the four of wands in reverse. This is all about disharmony here. This is all about breakups. This is all about disagreements. Um, you know, this could also, um, a divorce or a finalizing of something, somebody not agreeing and there's disharmony, like this is not a very good energy, right? So there's something happening incompatible in a very, uh, strong way. And there is a block towards the serendipitous energy. So this is the situation coming through. And what is the message from spirit here regarding that? So with the serendipity, they're saying to utilize your intuition. So your intuition is you're going to guide you. Uh, you know, you're thinking about good things too. All the good things will come out, right? So, um, you know, utilizing the mind in a good way for the good things to blossom and that will blossom in your reality, but also utilizing that intuition, part of that heart center to guide you. Your soul self is going to guide you. Your intuition is going to guide you. And uh, this is about um, an offer of love. All right. So utilizing your intuition regarding this offer of love you may have an intuition re relating to this offer of love that's another thing that i'm getting here you may you may feel that in your intuition or this could be about you coming into your intuition regarding yourself loving yourself um just taking care of yourself loving yourself right this could be about loving yourself or this could be about um intuition regarding love so like um where you feel the love is going to be, right? Where the love is going to be, like you follow your intuition with that, all right? So that's kind of like a spiritual thing that I was just mentioning there. So intuition, Ace of Cups, and this irreconcilable differences here, we have here peace. So, um, <clears throat> and then we have the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is uh, an energy where, um, like you, you, it's a small gesture. It could be like a little apology. It could be like 
a heartfelt message like through a text it could be um, some kind of note all right it could become a, a, an apology it could be an, a, a gesture of some kind that is coming from a place from the heart coming from the emotion right so um they're saying here to be at peace uh with this page of cups energy so um just be at peace if somebody's offering you something just be in this state of peace and utilize your intuition uh, regarding this love, whether it's somebody that wants you to offer love, if this is the universe offering you love, or you following your path of love, of self-love, right? So uh, be at peace in connection to this irreconcilable differences, whatever this energy is representing in your life right now, be at peace at that. If there are any type of small gestures, all right, uh, that, are that are connected to this uh, cup here, um, and uh, not sure, like say if somebody sent you a message, right? And you're wondering about that message, like you're looking at that cup, you're wondering about that message, right? Be at peace with that. All right, that's what I'm getting here from that. So just be at peace here. I just feel like I have to say that over and over again, be at peace, be at peace. All right. The second situation here is the um, soulmates. All right. So soulmates here, energy coming through. So this could uh, this could be the soulmate connection. Or this could be a twin flame connection because I don't think there's a twin flame card. And we also have the divine masculine there. So that could be about a twin flame connection as well. Uh, soulmates here is about, you know, this person has the lock. This person has the key. And there you go, right? This is uh, the love. This is the uh, two of cups sharing of love. So the soulmates here is um, the sun is shining on the soulmates. There's a lot. This energy of the situation the spirit wants to talk about is the sun illuminating, shining on the soulmate energy. All right. And uh, it's connected to support. So this financial support could be about financial, but I'm, I'm also pointing to the word support. Right. So. This support could be about financial. It could be about some kind of support that you're getting. Um, but I'm also getting here like some kind of support. And uh, this support is connected to holding on to support. So I'm getting here. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. So I feel like the situation is that holding on to feel holding on to feeling like you're supported uh regarding the sun illuminating on the soulmate energy does that make sense that's what i'm picking up from the situation here all right so let's see what's the message uh the message here celebrate differences okay so uh with the soulmate all right so maybe there are, you know, some unique traits between you and your person here, you and your soulmate, or you and your twin flame, right? And uh, the key here is to celebrate the differences between the two of you, all right? So yeah, you're a unicorn and your person is a dolphin and celebrate that because you know what? That is amazing and beautiful, Celebrate the differences that you have between you and your person. All right. That's what makes them unique. Right. And um, that is uh, the beauty uh, between the two of you. Right. And, um, you know, charge forward, you know, with this truth. So this could be like a message for the future as well. That's what I'm picking up here. Charge forward with your truth with the celebrate differences, this is going to help. I feel like this is going to benefit this soulmate connection through this, um, you know, unaccept, uh, this, um, what do you call it? Unex, uh, unconditional, <laughs> unconditional acceptance, uh, of this, uh, soulmate connection, charging forward with your truth, selling, celebrating the differences between the two of you and, um, with the support, holding on to support. It's connected to community. So this is like the people in your life, right? That support you, your community, right? Um, and allow your community, your, your soul tribe, your team of people, your allies that are in the physical to um, 
help you uh, with this carrying the burden, all right, doing it all and uh, needing to release. So I feel that the community, your people are going to be there to help you with the support. Hold on to the support related to your people in your community, your allies. Whenever you're feeling some type of burden, you know, with the soulmate connection, this the sun shining on the soulmate connection, um, move forward with this truth from now. Um, regarding this difference, all right, regarding the differences, charging forward with that, um, and definitely be at peace, all right, be at peace um, with this page energy, all right, be at peace with that and follow your intuition towards this love, towards what this love is, this could be, um, you know what this Ace of Cups represents, all right, this could be about you, this could be about your person, or this could be about the universe, all right, Utilize your intuition in connection to that because it says here, follow your heart, all right? And be flexible, all right? Because you know what? This masculine here uh, is, uh, where's that card here? Where's that card? Oh, yeah. This masculine is crazy about you, okay? He's crazy about you. You drive me wild. And he knows that there is some kind of unfinished business, all right? There's something itching at him where he needs to have a conversation regarding this um this two of this disharmony with the two of cups in reverse okay getting on the same page all right so there you go guys that's your reading let me know if this resonates by liking commenting sharing or subscribing to the channel i love you guys any personal services i'll have that below i'll see you guys later and have a good weekend i love you guys